Dr. Gerald Chodak. An aggressive option for treating men with locally advanced disease that has been proposed and used for some time is a combination of external radiation, internal radiation or seed implantation, and hormone therapy. Those three treatments all together are sort of a maximal way to hit the prostate and also treat cancer cells that may be escaping the prostate. So the pros are is it's very, very aggressive. The, the contradi contraindications for it or the problems with it, limitations, are we don't have good long-term studies to know whether it really offers advantages over simply external beam radiation with hormones rather than giving the seed implantation in addition. It does increase the side effects. And the problem is that there aren't a lot of good studies that have defined what those complications are. But the combination of external beam and seed implantation can lead to more urinary problems or bowel problems. So if you're considering doing it, if you have a doctor that's proposing it, make sure you ask specific questions about how often do those, uh, those complications occur for a man who's going to get the amount of radiation that you get. And of course the issues depend on how much external radiation are they going to give you along with how much seed implantation. What's the total dose of radiation? But you need to be careful that you may indeed control your cancer but you may have an increased risk of those complications compared to not getting the seed implantation as part of that package. So. We don't have good long-term data to know how well it compares, but people believe it is a reasonable alternative. My question is, does it offer a significant advantage over external radiation with hormone therapy by itself? How many more men are going to benefit versus how many men are going to get added complications? And it's that trade-off that plays a role here in deciding whether it's a reasonable option for you. Make sure you ask your doctor about the questions and the complications and find out if it is worth the risk that you are being proposed to take. With that, hopefully it will help you with understanding that as another option for treating locally advanced disease. Thank you.